each chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. to recover a stone flower from under the water. Ms. Swan, what are you doing? I'm writing Mr. Bear for help, quack quack. I've already talked to him. I think we can retrieve it all together if we use an ingenious method like this, look. What are you saying? We don't have any time to play with toys. I'm not playing, I'm serious. The only one who can lift that stone is Mr. Bear. He has the strength of Hercules. Hey friends, are you looking for me? There he is now. Oh please, I beg you, stop coming up with these stupid ideas. <laughs> Let me do the talking. Oh, my old friend, you're the only one who can get us out of this predicament. The water's deep and the stone is heavy. It's not going to be easy. Well, don't you worry. With the help of this here rope, we'll solve all our problems. <laughs> ah, now, just exactly where did it go down? <laughs> well, it fell down off its pedestal, and now it seems to be blocking the water circulation. <sighs> if it's blocking the drain, we'll we'll have a flood. We have to get okay, it out. Hey, buddy, let's go to work. Lifesavers? Well, we'll finish it with or without the duck for sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
ideas. You'll never be able to lift the stone fire. Obviously, those lifesavers aren't enough to lift the stone flower. You frogs will have to go back down and attach another one. Look lively! Alright, let's put our backs into it. Here, let me give you a hand. She's on her way up! Yeah. 
everything is a-okay. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> How were you able to do it, Quack Quack? Some sort of magic? No, magic has nothing to do with it. All I did was use the basic laws of buoyancy. What? Let me explain. The trick to lifting something heavy from underwater is to attach a lot of flotation devices. Congratulations. I didn't know ducks were so ingenious. Well done, cousin. I wonder why I didn't think of that. He did it. He did it. He's our man. He did it. He did it. He did it. Not as strong as a bear, you gotta use your smarts to get things done. flower in the woods is starting in the valley. Did you know that? A contest? Oh, yes. Flowers from every compass, Dell, Spinny, and Thicket have entered. Oh, really? And I hear they're going to give a beautiful prize to the winner. Truly, truly? Yes, yes, yes. You'd walk away with it. You would. Then I should enter. Uh... Those unsightly thorns will have to go, of course. The judges are very strict about blemishes. All right, I'll go register you with the jury panel then. <laughs> Rose, what are you doing? Come back! Rose, what are you doing? What is this? I'm going to the beauty contest. You're going without us? Of course, I'm perfectly capable of getting there on my own. The judges might take you for blemishes and disqualify me. No, don't do it, Rose. You can't get along without us. You're just having your little joke, aren't you, Rose? You know perfectly well that without us, you'd be deprived of moisture and nutrients. Not to mention the most important thing, the ties of family and affection that bind us all together. Oh, thanks. But I've decided I shall present myself at the beauty contest, devoid of all useless appendages. <laughs> Who are you calling a useless that appendix? Not Why, you, you are a... Nothing must be allowed to obscure the splendor of my beauty. Goodbye, friends. I'm off to win the prize at the beauty show. All alone and on my own, that's the way to go. In for a penny, in for a pound. When I get there, my beauty will resound. Oh, I can't wait to see the acclaim and fame I'll earn today. I'll be number one rose, and that's enough for me. Hey, hey! She needs a lesson. I must your petal do? And why are you on the road alone? It's no business of yours. You are just stinky overbearing. <laughs> and you are distinctly stupid. Oh, you poor thing. What happened? Why are you out alone? I was 
going to the beauty contest. I thought I'd win. I was sure of it. You'll never get anywhere without roots, stem, and shoot. Roots keep you from being torn off by the wind. And the stem and shoot carry water and food to you. You'd better find them, and find them soon, my girl, or you're done for. a little foolish, I suppose. Very foolish. We must go looking for a little bloom. Are you with me, you guys? Uh, I think I'll take a snooze myself. That's what I need most right now. We won't be able to do a thing for if we're not all there together. Come on, Ruth, Come on, you have to be there too! <gasps> Woe is me. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm wilting. Oh, oh. 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 oh butterfly. Dear butterfly, please rescue me. See what a pitiable state I've fallen into. Uh, what's the matter, Rose? I'm so terribly thirsty. Oh, you poor thing. Stay here. Oh. I'll try to consult your other components. Oh. We've come miles Rose. and miles and still no sign Rose. of our dear little Rose. Where in the world could she have gotten herself to? I can't go a step further. I need to stop and rest. I'm dreadfully in need of water. I yes, we should what have insisted that Root come with us. Yes, you're right. Huh? Quickly! We must rescue Rose! She's in bad shape back there in the grass! Oh, dear! <laughs> this time she won't get away! <sighs> have you any water, good sir? I'm so thirsty I can't stand it anymore. <sighs> I'm gonna put you out of your misery. <laughs> oh, oh, don't talk like that. You're scaring me. Oh. Without oh. your thorns, you're mine. <laughs> Listen, it's Rose's voice. Here we come, Rose. Hang in there. <laughs> 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 Misunderstanding. I was just trying to help the poor wee lass, and I. Ah! Rose, Rose, it's water. me. Try to hold on. Water, water, water. What can we do for her, Stem? We can't get any water into her without roots. You stay here with her. I'll get him up if I have to set fire to him. Water. Water. Root, get up. Rose needs water or she'll die. What? Huh? What? All right. I'd better suck up some water from the ground. I feel so. I feel so weak. I wonder why. Oh. I'll explain as soon as we get there. Now hurry! The reason you feel ill is because we have to stay together. It's the only way we can protect ourselves and stay healthy. You're so right! Up you go.
the swan. How is the swan classified in the animal kingdom? The swan is a bird belonging to the Anseriformes order, to the Anatidae family and the Anserinae subfamily. It has a long, graceful neck, its bill is serrated to filter the water it dabbles in, and it has webbed feet. How many species are there, and where do they live? There are five known swan species, and they're native to Asia, Europe, North America, and Australia. How do they live? Swans are strictly monogamous creatures, living in couples which stay together for life. Male and female work together to make the nest, which is always located near a stretch of water, and to raise their young, called cygnets. How do they move? Like all members of the Anatidae family, swans swim, fly long distances, and walk on dry land with a characteristic waddling gait. They actually float on water and swim by paddling with their webbed feet. What do they eat? Swans are vegetarians. They dabble for aquatic plants, dipping their long necks in shallow, stagnant water and carefully searching the bottom with their bills. How do they protect themselves? Adults usually take to the air when faced with danger. If cygnets feel threatened while swimming, they seek refuge either on their parents' backs or between their wings. How do they relate to people? It depends. Some species, like the trumpeter swan, for example, are threatened with extinction due to human mismanagement of the environment, while others live in captivity in close contact with people. Can they live in the city? Yes, swans often live in public parks, like pets of the city, as long as there's a pond large enough for them. Well, have you all learned a lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that when your friends help you, you can overcome every kind of difficulty. <laughs> oh, look who's coming!